audio program is presented by audible.com audible audio that speaks to you wherever you are bbc audiobooks is pleased to present the ugly duckling and other stories the story of the ugly duckling <laughs> It was lovely out in the country, summer. The wheat was standing golden yellow and the oats were still green. Down in the meadows, the hay had been stacked. Round about the meadows, there were great woods and in the middle of these woods were often deep lakes. In among the leaves at the edge of the water, a duck was sitting on her nest. Her little ducklings were almost ready to hatch out, and she was rather tired of sitting on her eggs. It was taking so long, and she'd had very few visitors. The other ducks would far rather swim up and down instead of sitting under the dock leaves for a chat. But at last, one after another, the eggs began to crack. The chicks came to life and were poking their heads out. What a big place the world is, to be sure. Well, yes, much better than inside that eggshell. What, 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 why, you don't think this is all the world? No, the world goes all the way round the other side of the garden, right into the parson's field. And not that I've ever been there. Now, are you all ready? Oh, no. The biggest egg is still there. However much longer will it be? How goes it, Mrs. Duck? Why, this one egg is taking such a time. It just doesn't crack. Oh, but look at all of them. They're the finest ducklings I've ever seen. Just like their father. <laughs> well, let me have a look at that egg that won't crack. Why? It's a turkey's egg. What? Oh, oh, I'm sure it's not. Well, I should forget about that one if I were you. You'll be needing to teach the rest how to swim. Well, I... I think I'll just sit here. Just a little longer. Please yourself. I'm off now. At last, the big egg did crack. And out came the duckling. Keep. Keep. But how big and ugly he was. The mother duck looked at him. Keep, keep, keep. That's a whopping big duckling, that is. Oh, none of the others look like that. It's never a turkey, is it? Anyway, we shall soon see. He's going into the water whether he likes it or not. Quack, quack, cheep, quack, quack, cheep. Quack, quack, quack. Next day, the sun was shining, and the mother duck with all her family went down to the water. Into the water she sprang, and her children followed her, one after the other, even the ugly grey one. Oh, no, that's no turkey. He's using his legs beautifully. Oh, he's one of mine, all right. He doesn't look too bad either. Quack, quack, quack. Now, all come with me, and I'll take you to the farmyard. Stay close to me in case anyone treads on you. Oh, and um, watch out for the cat. Now, uh, use your legs. Mind you quack properly and turn your toes out, as well-bred ducks should do. Now, bend your legs and say, quack. Quack, 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 quack. They all did as they were told. But the other ducks in the farmyard were not pleased. Ah, just look at this try, Mac. Oh, dear, as if there weren't enough of us already. And how ugly that duckling is. Oh, goodness. Yes, well, we can't put up with that. And another duck flew at the ugly duckling and bit him on the neck. Oh, that hurt. Quack, 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 quack. You leave him alone. He's doing no harm. Ah, but you see, he's so ugly. And odd. Quack. Look, he may not be handsome, but...
but he has a nice nature. Anyway, he swims just as well as any of the others. I think in time he may grow smaller. <coughs> Besides, he was so long inside the egg that his shape hasn't come right yet. Uh, he'll do fine. You'll see. <coughs> well, I think the other ducklings are perfectly charming. Make yourselves at home, children. And they did. But the other ducks, and the hens as well, pushed the ugly duckling about and made fun of him. And the turkey cock puffed himself up like a ship in full sail and ran at him and gobbled and gobbled till he was red in the face. Get away from me! Things grew worse and worse. The ugly duckling was chased around by everyone, even his brothers and sisters. Oh, I wish the cat would get you, you ugly thing! In the end, he ran off and flew right over the hedge. Some little birds took off in a fright. That's because I'm so ugly. <laughs> and he ran on till he came to the wide marsh where the wild ducks lived. He was so tired and miserable that he stayed there all night. In the morning, the wild ducks flew up and had a look at this newcomer. Hello there. Uh... Hello? Now, what sort of creature are you? Ah, well, you're ugly. There's no getting away from that, is there? <laughs> <laughs> Not that we mind. Pipe to the bottom. Oh, oh yes. Dribble up and divide The stormy sea palace and sat sadly in... In myself. <laughs> Ran it up through... Drake. If he struck it not so much that he looked... The, the people shouted... Soldier! And marry the beautiful princess! Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, they sat the soldier in the king's own carriage, and all three dogs danced along in front of him. All the boys whistled through their fingers, and all the soldiers presented arms. The princess came out of the copper palace and became queen. She liked that. The wedding celebrations of the happy couple lasted a whole week. And as for the dogs, well, they sat up to the table and stared and stared and stared with their enormous eyes. This audio program is presented by Audible.com. Audible, audio that speaks to you wherever you are.